Welcome to Let's Play Psychonauts, I'm Nye, and we are on a stage, getting ready to find some sort of actor who is, uh, or actress, rather, who has kind of vanished and, uh, refuses to act. But before we do that, we are exploring. Now, this level's very, very dark. So, uh, you know, don't judge your TV sets. It's not them, it's the level. Okay, we got ourselves another ammo up increase here, which... At some point, I'm afraid to say, it will become extremely and utterly useless. But that's neither here nor there. Okay, let's continue to explore. Oh, you know what? Where's that crying little pain in the ass? I think I have this. No, that's not the tag I got. Okay, well, let's keep on exploring. My intent is to snag everything while I have a chance, because this level likes to change a lot. There's the purse tag. Okay. Do I have this one? Nope, don't have the suitcase tag. Gonna grab these ones. Wonderful. Good. Okay. Any other ones I need to be concerned with right now? That's the question here. I do have this tag, so let's go ahead and take care of that right now. Okay. I feel reasonably confident that I've accomplished everything I can in these rooms right now, so let's go progress storyline. Which involves taking that and hey, grabbing these. She really doesn't want to see anyone right now. Hmm. Yeah, she uh Okay, so this is what you have to do. If you don't want to see anybody, well, I can do that. Let's not be seen. Hi! You have stuff I want. God, why do they always cry? All of them. Everyone in this place cries. Alcohol bottle figment. That makes sense. It's an actress. Okay, is that everything? Yeah, let's talk to her. Excuse me, Miss Soleil. I heard you were feeling bad, so I just wanted to say that whatever you're going through, you're not alone. I oh, how sweet. I used to myself, and I know how hard it is when... Kid, can't you see I'm trying to have a moment here? Well, that's kind of scary. I was looking for Bonita Soleil. You mean the personal muse of Gloria Von Guten, her inner sunshine? Still the crying somehow? Her youth. Yes. That's me. What do you want, an autograph? I'm kind of busy here. Where's the crying coming from? They need you on stage right away for your big number. Am I not playing this right or something? I'm drowning in a quagmire of self-pity. Nope, Why you're a bad you actress. That? Should I be doing more with my hands? Yes. So, who's that crying? Oh, sorry. Hey, can we kill the waterworks for a second? Thanks. It's a recording. It helps me focus. Wow, that makes complete sense. Well, now that's done, and that was getting really annoying. So, good. So, you're not going out on stage? Have you seen any of the plays we put on here? Those god-awful slices of Gloria's terrible life? Oh, good. Now we have some context. To light to those? Listen, the burden of being the only sunshine in this theater is just too much for one beautiful, glowing, inspirational muse to bear, you know? Okay, so apparently I have to act that way? Is there any way I can get you to take the stage? For the fans? If you oh, don't pull that for the fan shit. Out there, so I'm not the only light on the set. I'll turn on a spotlight. Uh, that could work, but you'll need a candle. Uh, I I'm think there sure might I can be do a that. spare in the storeroom. If you can get a candle into a spotlight and light it, I'll come out and give the show one last try. But well, I'm that sounds like a plan. Anything. I'll leave you alone now. Thank you. <laughs> okay, so, let's go into the storeroom and get ourselves a candle. Nothing possibly could go wrong in this room. Okay, well, we got a safe. Let's, oh, we got a vault. Let's see what's in here. Gloria's Cruel Training. Oh, this is good. Let's see, so we got the Hagatha Home for Girls. Looks like an evil little place. Uh, she gets dragged on in, apparently, by an evil matron. And she is forced to do ballet by whip crack forced to sing and dance and get smacked in the face with a whip. Wonderful! And then she's forced to watch ballet while someone else is smacked upside the head with the whip. And then she's forced to put on a tutu or something while smacked on the head with a whip. And then she's forced to do Rapunzel while being smacked on the head with a whip. There's a lot of being smacked on the head with a whip things going on here. Okay, let's explore. It is really dark in here. Can I... I mean, thank you. That That's helpful. That's what I wanted. Okay, so we need to go up. 
Awesome, there is a cobweb here for me to snag. Wonderful. Do I have his tag? Yes, I do. Great, that's less crying for me to deal with. That crying was getting really obnoxious. Let's activate my levitation ball again so I can actually see. Nope, want to jump off. Grab that. Uh, yep, that's all mental wob cobwebs cleared. This area is actually really easy when it comes to that. Okay, can I... No, it's not going to let me. Okay. So we got to go and jump in this direction. On the plus side, it's really easy to grab all of the uh, figments uh, in these smaller areas. Okay, let's jump all the way up here. Grab the candle. And then slide back down, grabbing all of these figments on the way. Wonderful. Am I missing anything? No, I think we're good. Okay, let's go put this candle into the stage. Still very bare out here. Hi, Mr. Critic. Good to see ya. Are you enjoying your seat, you fat lump? Okay, let's put the candle in here. Now we need to light it. Well, how would a psychic light a candle? Like that, of course. Wonderful. And now there's light on the stage. Oh, great. We just started something. Alive, people. Bonita Soleil is about to take the stage. Yay! In position one. And action. Let's see how this goes. Tonight, I will be playing the part of Gloria Von Guten, the famous actress. Overacting. Nostalgic memory of her breakthrough role in the smash hit musical Sunshine Shenanigans. Okay, some of them doing good. Wait, what is this? Something is about to happen. Smashed. Dead. By way of this lantern about to fall. Wonderful, radiant, glowing, fantastic. Yep, very proud. I've seen some bad plays in my day, but this one's an actual menace, and it's all her fault. This is a really it's big critic. It's bad acting that makes the phantom strike. <laughs> oh, joy. This the critic's time, making bad I'm things happen. I'm going to file a formal complaint and get this theater shut down. Now, my question is... I'm off to go kill myself. You know, you could be a more constructive critic. Kid, if you want to see a good play, come talk to me. I've got a script here that'll knock him dead, I promise. Has anybody ever seen a critic that hey! actually... Whoa, 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 whoa! Careful! That's huh? the manual mood override. That's how we set the right mood for the play. Uh. Mess with that, and we'll have happy plays on sad sets, sad plays on happy sets. Huh. Total chaos. Or worse. Improv. Hey, I like so improv. Whatever you do, don't mess with the manual mood override unless you want to see some strange stuff happen. Guys, do we like strange stuff? Whole story. I like strange stuff. My mind. Okay, let's explore. Let's see what strange stuff we can have. Let's see. We got a really happy sounding music here. This is like a teleporter, so let's use that. Teleporter? Let's see, going through this allows me to go to this area. Okay, cutscene. Oh my dear mother, do you not love my new seaside mansion? Bought with a fraction of the wealth my overnight success has given to me? Look at that mouth. Yes, Gloria, my daughter. I only live to make you happy. God, the overacting. We I gotta, I gotta feel sorry for the voice actor who had to do this because you know they had to force it so hard. Man, he's a big troll. Yes. That's wonderful. And that's the best line in that. Yes! Okay, so we actually now have figments to collect. Good. Wonderful. By the way, uh, this uh, this water actually has the curse involved, which I thought was a really cool touch. Okay, let's grab as many figments as we can. So when the uh, stage changes, oh, go away. 
uh, when the stage changes, uh, the uh, figments do as well. I don't think I'm going to be able to get up there. Let's see what happens if I go back this way. Okay, we're back to this one. Well, as long as we're on the same page. Oh, wait, we triggered another one. With your acting, I wouldn't have guessed it at all. I hope my mother is proud of me. Well, here it goes. Here what goes? Should I even ask? I don't want to ask. Oh dear, it starts. Huzzah, forsooth! What is thine sweet smell in the air? That's not how you spell air. Even in Old English. Let us spin and be happy, entwined in this pole of love, forever young and twisty. Is that what the twister's all about? Rejoice, for spring has beset in upon ourselves, and the spirit of May is a-lingering! Don't you usually do the twist like you did last summer? Not like last spring? Hooray! Maypole! 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 This is horrifying. I cannot think of anything that could be more torturous than this. And you, dear viewers, get to watch it. Isn't that lovely? Okay, is there any more? Yep, there's one here. Here. Basically during our normal figment hunt. Okay. Now time to shake things up a bit. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Let's make it sad. This changes things just a wee bit. Uh-huh. Oh, wait, it gets better. We get another cutscene, and look, they look evil now. Wah, ha, ha. Welcome to Haggath, the home school for girls, where you will begin your long and painful training in the theatrical discipline. Like Jackie Chan. Wah, ha, ha. But I don't want to study theater. I want my mom to come take me home right now. Wow, she's so whiny. She's like my little sisters. Your mom has a career and a boyfriend to think about. She doesn't have time for an ugly little girl like you. Man, they're just instilling anorexia in oh, this little girl. Maybe bulimia. Obviously an eating disorder there of some sort. There is nothing more tedious than the tears of an unlovable child. Wonderful it's lines, these. time to suffer for your art. That's not what that means. Hello, something's going on up there. Was is das? I do not know. But... Now we have another stage to check out. Problem is, this stage has hostiles. Yep, that's right. These guys will actively attack me. Luckily, I've got an answer to this. Okay, now that we've got them out of the way... Man, we have so much health. Look at this. Okay, so now that we've wrecked all that, let's go ahead, take up all these figments, and start jumping upwards. There is a reason for this. I promise I'm not wasting time. Oh, crap. There we go. Got that figment. Uh, there is a reason to go up like this. I'm not sure if I can access it yet, though. Up we go. Wonderful. Can I get there? Hey, there's the hot air balloon I need to get to the catwalks. Yay. Now, can I get it? I could just get them to do a play that brings it down here. I could ride it up to the catwalks and take care of that phantom. I love when the game gives me hints. So I can't actually reach it right now, unfortunately, but, you know, now we know what we have to do. Well, we've already seen everything there has to do on this screen, so let's actually make the uh, play move to the right. And we'll see what happens here. Is that a dragon? That's a dragon. Man, I first read that as caressed, and I thought there was a lot of problems here. Coming for you, girly. The mail boat may never come, but I think I see the mail train approach it through yon tunnel. Mail train? Mail train? Yay! Surely it bears to me a letter from my dear mother who abandoned me at this school for girls so long ago. Mail train, otherwise known as dragon eating your face. Yeah, that kind of just happened. 
Tis a dragon indeed. You have been fooled and burned. Wonderful. Oh, okay, yeah, now I need to get out of here because I'm going to attack, as usual. No. Die. Go away. Okay. Good. We're in a better position now. We are no longer being attacked. Let's see. Is there any more in the way of figments out here? No? Wonderful. Okay, so we need to take care of this dragon. The problem is, I don't think we're going to be able to. That dragon looks pretty fierce. I wonder who can slay such a beast. Hey! Well, we know who can slay such a beast, but we can't do anything about it ourselves. So let's go chit chat with this girl and see what she can tell us. You said that if Benita performed, everything would be okay. You lied to us. So I left out the part about the deadly phantom. I thought you'd chicken out, ma'am. Mean. I'm a psychonaut. Just show me how to get up to those catwalks he hides out in and... Sorry, no way up there. Oh, come on. It's well, not... there was this one play. Thank you. We would lower this prop hot air balloon down from the catwalks and then pull it back up again. Okay, so do it. Find it or any other play for crying out loud. Just bring it to me and I'll run the actors through it. Wonderful. We're so desperate for new material around here. Well, that's a hint. I guess let's go talk to the uh, critic and see if he has something worth a damn. Do I have the, uh... I think I have the tag for this one over here. Do I? Yes, yes I do. Thank you. Shut up. I am so tired of these freaking crying. Yep, that's the end of that sentence. There's nothing more. You, give me that play. Hey, can you help me get up to the catwalk so I can fight that phantom? Hell! Ah! Can't get there from here. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, unless you did that one particular play on that one particular set. This sounds oh, promising. But what am I saying? That's almost impossible. Forget about almost. it. Almost. I like the almost. Is due. Wonderful. Give me that play of yours. Hey, why do you have to be so hard on Benita? I'm trying to save you from that mysterious phantom. Why do you character? have no neck? He only attacks when Bonita performs. If we got Evidently, rid of little her. Miss Sunshine, we'd all be safer now, wouldn't we? You're in this the children. You're in this gigantic box. What are you worried about? Benita's just trying to lighten things up around here. Ha! Ah, I've seen better shines. On a shoe. That was a pretty she good line. Quit now, while she can still get a job as a nightlight. That one too. If you can't say something nice, don't say anything at all. The young boy's protests, though heartfelt, quickly lapse into simplistic and tedious platitudes. One and a half stars. Well, he is a critic. I mean. If you hate the show so much, why don't you just leave? Oh, I can't stop looking at it. It's like the sight of a horrible car accident. He does have a, a car point. accident where the victims can't act and the paramedics forget their lives. That'd be kind of funny to watch, actually. All right, later, you old gas bag. Listen, this play just stinks. Here, try this one instead. This play has some action in it, some zing. Zing? Thanks. Are you actually being nice? No, he's just bored. I'm just trying to keep myself halfway into today. Exactly. Go. Give that to Becky and see if she can't find some actors to ruin it. Yep, that's what this episode's gonna be like, guys. We're just gonna keep on running through plays until we find the one that works. So let's give this to Becky and see what happens. Hey, what's this? A new script? Yeah, sure, whatever. Night of Joy. A night? We needed a night. Weird. It smells like popcorn and it doesn't say which set to play it on. Let's do it on anyone. Lay it on whatever's on stage. I mean, what could possibly go wrong? All of us could die. Here, you can be my first AD. Use the megaphone if you want to run the play again. Okay. Useful. New script, everybody. Let's practice. And yep, now I can make things happen. Action. Night of joy, huh? Mother, mother, tell me the truth. Was the dad I never this might take a little while, guys. This episode might run a little bit long. Can I? And yes, he killed the dragon for me. That's helpful. My father has nobly smoked the beast to his own death. He is a hero. We did get a little bit of progress here. Hey, and for the record, not a bad kisser. Neat. Okay, that was actually. Hey, no. 
No. Bad. Bad. No biscuit. Go away. Okay, well guys, I feel that we've made some progress here. We're getting there on uh, on this uh, level, and you know, we're uh, at 97 out of 111 figments, so we're doing pretty well. So we're going to keep working on this. I'll see you guys next time so we can continue and see what killing that dragon has done for us. See you soon.